I think this week you're going to see quite a bit start to break out. We take advantage of the social. We take advantage of all the different channels that are out there. So my guess is almost every day over the next five to six days, you're going to see ads beginning to break. Okay, so what are the one or two ads, either from your own agency or others, that you think are going to make the most noise? Well, by definition, as the father of some of the properties, you are proud of all. So I'm not going to necessarily say which one. What I will say is I think this year's ads will be more interesting than in prior years. A lot of social dynamics out there, a lot of different average advertisers trying to figure out where corporations belong in that world. So when Most you say novels. social issues, what are we talking about here? I mean, are we going to have any allusions to Colin Kaepernick, for example? I don't think so, but I think what we will have is people trying to demonstrate corporate responsibility, trying to demonstrate to their own employees, their consumers, their value structures. I think you're going to see more of that this year than we've seen in the past couple of years. Jason, are your eyes rolling yet? A little bit. I mean, any, any yucks? Any, well, any laughs? I mean, I, I mean, mean, mean by no, definitely. Listen, or, or, you know, animals? we got 111 like million. <laughs> no, no, no. We got 111 million people that we're going to be able to advertise to. 70% of all households who have TVs basically tune in for the Super Bowl, and three out of four people tell you that they like the ads. This is a great opportunity okay, for got, us, and it, some will be funny. I know right, all of okay. these are your children, but you got to give us at least a couple of names. I to love look for. Listen, what should we look for? What, listen, what are you I would, look, I would look on Monday morning next week. I would obviously look at Mr. Musnick's man. I think he's going to give you a lot of education about what to do on Monday when people have a tendency to call into their businesses and claim that they are sick. Okay, that's the yucks. I think that I will imagine. be informative. Okay, what about on the, on, the, on the social side you were talking about earlier? Who, well, who, I, who's I think, taking that issue Well, on? I think Anna Bush is making some changes. The Clydesdale horses won't be there this year. There are some agencies. You think that's the right decision? I think that is something that is beloved. I have always loved those horses. Me I too. Think to, I, I think, you know, I will miss them myself, but it'll be have interesting to see how... Can someone else use well, them? Listen, I can't comment on what another agency and what another client is basically thinking about doing, but I think those horses should be rented out for other people I think to so use. Too. What about the, the revenue per 30-second advert? Is it is it up on last year, down on last year? It's the... about $5 million a spot right now for about 30 seconds, maybe a little bit more than that as we get into this last week with the few that are remaining. But at the end of the day, it is still a great buy for an advertiser. It is an opportunity where... 98 to 99 percent of the public who watches an ad in a Super Bowl stays for the entire 30 but seconds. Do, do the, That's do, unique. Do the math on those 30 seconds because we're not just talking about five million dollars for those 30 seconds. No, the, we're not. It's the plus plus of the social media. It's the plus plus of then running that ad continuously for two weeks around it, right? And it's so also the plus the, the plus plus running into the Olympics, which okay. is also going to be the well, second great event of this so year. What, okay, so so a tr the true price of whatever that five million dollar 30 seconds really is is what? A multiple of the $5 million. Oh, wait, most 15 will, million, 20 no, million, most will, be, most will be spending about seven or eight because television is still the most expensive component. But people will be taking advantage of Twitter to a large extent. People will be on Facebook right. to a large extent. And, and, by the well, way, can you, speak, can you just yeah. speak to this Twitter, this Twitter controversy sure. over the weekend about all of these fake followers? Yep. By the way, even fake followers potentially on Facebook. Yep. Do you look at this and say, I don't want to be there anymore? We do look at it. We don't say we don't want to be there anymore, but we are beginning to question much more seriously than we have in the past the value proposition of Facebook. Book, but frankly, you do. Now you're going to be yeah. reducing your budgets on those on those platforms. We are going to be talking to them about whether or not what we pay for is what we really think we are getting, and what they are delivering to us has some type of guarantee. Would you Fa long or short Facebook, Twitter, or Snap? All of these guys who you're paying a big lot, big big lot of money into. These long term, days. I would be long. Short term, I think there are a lot of questions right now about what they are actually delivering in their audience. Fake, fake followers, though, has been around for a while. You've known about that for for years. But to the extent that what we're seeing right now is mechanisms that are basically multiplying those fake followers. Mm -hmm. right. So it's gone from the proverbial person on his bed to now yeah. organizations that basically are taking advantage. And frankly, it's fraud. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.